Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Rhino 3D, your go-to place for mastering Rhino with clean and professional workflows. Today, we're going to model this complex 3D shape step-by-step -step using only simple Rhino commands, but we'll do it with a professional touch. So stay sharp and follow along till the end. It's going to be worth it. Before we dive in, make sure to like this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button for more awesome tutorials coming your way. All right, let's get started. First, we'll sketch the main outline of the shape using the curve tool. This curve defines the overall flow and is the foundation of our model. Take a moment to adjust the control points carefully. Small tweaks here will ensure the shape feels smooth and intentional. Precision matters. Now, use the mirror tool to duplicate the curve across the center line. This ensures perfect symmetry. Next, draw an ellipse to establish a clean cross section. Adjust its control points for a smoother transition, blending it naturally into the overall shape. Now here's a pro trick. Use the tween curve command to generate a perfectly flowing curve between the two outlines. Again, fine tune the new curve using control points for smooth continuity. Always refine before moving on. We'll now use the split tool to cut the curve precisely at the necessary segments. Clean segments make modeling easier. Using curves from cross-section profiles, draw connecting curves between the cut points. This ensures a guided surface later on. You split again where needed to maintain a clean and editable curve network. Draw a new cross-section curve, then use Rebuild to reduce control points for better manageability. Adjust it until it fits seamlessly. Select these four curves and create a surface using the surface from 2, 3, or 4 edge curves command. Notice how Rhino stitches them perfectly. Let's mirror this surface to complete the symmetrical form. We're starting to see the volume take shape. Now we need a new cross-section curve. Draw it and fine-tune its control points for the next sweep operation.
Use split again to ensure every segment is prepped for surface generation. Clean topology, smooth surfaces. Select the two rails and cross sections, then apply sweep two rails to generate a complex surface that smoothly blends between them. Mirror this new surface to complete the opposite side. Our shape is almost there. For better finishing, add another cross-section curve, carefully adjusting control points to refine edge transitions. Repeat the sweep two rails command to finish off the remaining surfaces, ensuring smooth continuity across all curves. Lastly, to unify the entire model and give it a clean smooth mesh, apply the quad remesh command. This step optimizes your model for visualization or further detailing. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you learn new techniques and gave you insights into professional surface modeling in Rhino. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, drop them in the comments below. I always read them, and of course, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming tutorials. See you in the next video.